From June to October, the waters of the Mosquito Lagoon, Banana River, and the Indian River Lagoon come alive with bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a natural phenomenon where certain organisms emit light, creating a magical glow in the water. The glowing particles are trillions of tiny dinoflagellate plankton in the lagoon that light up when agitated. Doing a bioluminescent kayak tour has been on my bucket list for a while, so I was super excited to book a trip with Get Up and Go Kayaking. We arrived at Indian River Lagoon just before 10 p.m., where we met our tour guides and got our life jackets. Can you see me? I see a glowing ring around your neck. Oh yeah, okay. That's awesome. We had a total of 14 people in our tour group along with the two guides. Get Up and Go Kayaking is known for their clear kayaks, which allow us to see the glow beneath us as we go. In a one by one, we launched from the shore. Sweet. Yep, you headed. I'm gonna get these two guys. Okay, so back past here. And, we'll watch out for and I do wanna note that it is very dark out here. We chose the date that we did because this night there was no moon which means the sky will be as dark as possible to see the glowing algae. So this is a really tricky one for us to film because of how dark it is. So unlike our other kayaking trips, I did have to bring my very expensive and totally not waterproof mirrorless camera. I've never flipped a kayak before and I am really hoping that this streak continues on this night. And you can kind of see the glow with the settings that I had to start with, but to really capture the glow, you have to crank the ISO up on the camera, which makes the shots a lot more grainy, but you're able to see the colors a bit more like how we experienced this with our naked eyes. As we set out on the lagoon, our tour guides, Jacob and Jason, took us on our first stop where they told us fun facts about the plankton and the bioluminescence. Do you guys have any idea what bioluminescence is? What is glowing in the water? Plankton. Plankton, there you go. It is a phytoplankton. <laughs> it is a type of algae that absorbs sunlight to create nutrients. It is a single-celled organism, and in fact, the biggest single-celled organism in the entire world. It can grow up to two millimeters long in the winter time. Right now it is summer and peak season, therefore there are lots of little baby ones. They're not very long, but it will look much milkier once um, we get to an area without so much light pollution. Oh, there's a dolphin to your left? There's a dolphin behind. You might be able to see its fin pop out of the water. Yep, there we go. Have you guys ever seen Dolphin Tail? Yes. You know the Dolphin yeah. Winter? Mm-hmm. She was rescued from right around here. Oh. So this is like the spot. We're in the land of the celebrity right now. That glowing light out in the distance is Kennedy Space Center's Launch Bay 39B and the Vehicle Assembly Building. We took our final stop at a known algae hotspot where we were able to stop and splash around for a bit. The algae glows brighter the more it's agitated and it seems that using a net gave us the brightest glow. We also tried paddling as fast as we could to make it glow as bright as possible.
The Bioluminescent Tour was definitely a cool experience, and I highly recommend everyone to try it at least once. The glowing algae makes you feel like you're paddling through Pandora from Avatar. And while we did our best to capture it, the camera just doesn't do it justice. It's something that you really have to experience firsthand with your naked eyes. If you are thinking of booking this bioluminescent tour, here are a few tips and tricks so that you can get the most out of your experience. The best time of year to see it is between May and October, with July and August being the peak season. You want the sky to be as dark as possible with as little light pollution as possible to be able to see the glow. So when there is a new moon or no moon at all, that would give you the best results. The whole area of Indian River Lagoon, Mosquito Lagoon, and a Banana River are all hot spots for the algae. Mosquito Lagoon definitely lives up to its name, so you'll want to bring some bug spray and wear long sleeves as the mosquitoes are rampant in this area. And if you are doing the clear kayak tour, then they do recommend not using bug spray with DEET as it damages the kayaks. The tour lasted about an hour and a half and it can be a bit of a challenging paddle going upstream as you make your way back to the launch point. And while the clear kayaks are really cool and make it so that you can see the algae beneath you, they do feel very unstable, so just keep that in mind. If you are ready to book this incredible trip, I do have a link for the experience with Get Up and Go Kayaking in the video description below. This is our affiliate link, so any purchase that you make directly supports our channel at no additional cost to you. This helps us continue to make content, so thank you in advance for your support. We also would love to give a huge thank you to our channel members. You make our content possible and we couldn't thank you enough. If you would like to join our channel and get fun perks like exclusive emotes and early access to our videos, you can click the link in the description below. If you want to see what other amazing kayaking adventures that you can experience in Florida, then you're in luck because I've got an entire playlist for you that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist are my favorite kayaking spots that I've tried so far, including Juniper Springs, Silver Springs, and Wikiwachi Springs. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.